Hey guys, hello again and welcome at the animation library. Um, in this tutorial I will teach you the basics of a walk cycle. Later on you can experiment with a run cycle or even a double bounce, but for now um, the basics are hard enough. I will animate one of our puppets from the store um, in After Effects, but you can apply uh, everything I will teach you in any software you want. Um, so that's it, uh, let's get started. So this is the walk cycle we're going to animate. You see like just a regular movement. If we um, look at our keyframes, you will see there are a lot of them. Uh, this might seem confusing for the first time, but uh, don't worry, I'll show it to you and it's gonna be really easy. So this is our startup uh, guy. We call him Lorenz. Um, we will start with the contact pose. Uh, one foot in front, one in the back. And we will do the same for 13, but then vice versa. Then we'll do the passing position, uh, where the knee passes the, the leg. Then we have the down, where the middle goes down. And the up, where the, yeah, the guy goes up. It's pretty easy, actually. All right, so if we check out Lawrence, we'll just put him in the first position. I will start with the body and just like turn them. Don't worry about the heads. We will fix it right now. It's normal. It doesn't come with the body. This is something you can animate separately, which gives you much more freedom. Um, so let's just put this right. And yeah, the body, uh, oh, I think that's okay. We'll turn it a little bit, mm, that's just too much, I think. Mm, let's say, yeah, just a little bit to the back. And then the arms, they look strange now. Um, I want the hands to turn. Um, then we have an inner and an outer hands. And then I also, um, Oh, I want the elbow to turn as well. So we're gonna click this and yeah, minus 70. Yeah, that seems right. We're gonna do the same for the legs. Yeah. Turn the feet around and you don't see it now, but actually the leg moves as well. Um, so yeah, the knee will um, yeah will bend in the right direction. Okay, now let's take the foot and put it on the right place. The tips need to touch the ground. That's the the blue guide, and then the front leg. I want the heel to touch the ground and the toes to be a little bit up. So I just rotate the foot a little bit. Maybe just a that below yeah all right i think this is right yeah. you start to notice that the whole figure is starting to get a shape yeah. we will move the body down a little bit so everything seems a bit more natural and i will place this guide as a reference for later and as well for the head, just like we know when we do the up and the down pose, uh, that we are, yeah, that we are animating right. So, uh, as you can see, uh, we did the first pose, the contact pose, uh, but I think if we look, a, take a closer look, we can do better. So uh, I will return and just maybe yeah the head was a little bit too far i pushed it a little bit too much and the hands can be like oh, a bit more relaxed i guess yeah so i'm gonna turn the elbow in so it's like more easy walk and the other hand doesn't need to be that far um so yeah i think this is better already maybe turn the head a little bit more and uh, okay yeah 
you know you can tweak this as much as you want but for this tutorial I don't want to spend too much time tweaking uh, okay so um, now everything is in the right pose let's um, put keyframes so um, this will remain our start position um, don't forget uh, to do this as well for the the body turn uh, select the slider and click uh, the, the stopwatch um, and now we're gonna select all the keyframes and we're going to block them so what does this mean um, now they are linear and if we will add another keyframe um, there will be an automatic movement but right now we don't want that uh, I want it to be at the, the right position so I want to block my keyframes so when this is done we can animate the other contact pose on frame 13 and um, this way the in-between and the passing position will be easier to animate so there won't be an automatic movement and, and in the end this will make your animation much more clear okay now you have the passing position you put the foot in front the leg passes the position the hands they switch from side and with the up and down you can really see that the body goes up and down so we have this nice movement okay so if we play this you see uh, we start to have an uh, an animation already it's a bit chunky now but let's see what happens if we put everything back in linear so everything will smoothen out let's play this again so yeah we have the half of a walk cycle now if you do the same on the second part so in between frame 7 and 13 like your whole animation uh, will become yeah you will have a full animation so um, once this is done you can start to do secondary animation um, what does this mean like we did the basics but now um, you can add like a little twist in the in the head like if I play this again you will see the head like moves back and forth a little bit and I, I really like this okay now you will, might see better like when the yellow block moves the head moves a little bit the eyebrows they move as well so this gives some extra to to this basic uh, animation um, also if we check um, the rotation of the body you can see like there's also a nice curve in this and like the shoulders they move with it like the body goes yeah a bit to the right bit to the left and yeah this makes everything smoother it's the same for the hands you know um, if you if we check the rotation uh, you can see it like has like this small uh, I don't know um, like this is in and this is out it comes a bit behind of the arm so this gives it yeah this this nice feeling of of acting natural if you check at the body that goes up and down this curve like it stays the same then you have a nice easy in and out um, to go up and down and up and down and yeah this way uh, your animation will become much better if you start to smooth things out you can also like shift a bit uh, shift the keyframes a little bit and then in the end you will end up with an animation like this and like I said this is a basic walk cycle you can go way beyond this I'm really curious what you are going to make so uh, if this tutorial was helpful and you made your own animation please show it um, put a background behind this like I did here it's a very old background that I had laying around and if you see like the background really moves with the character and it's doesn't really like float on it. it's like 
it's really on the same tempo as the um, as the movement of the of of the character and that's something you really need to check out that you don't glide over the background if you want to make one of course so um yeah i think i'm quite happy about this um for a basic walk cycle um maybe one last trick if you're still watching um i'm gonna show you how to make um an onion skinning in in after effects because this doesn't come um built in which is a shame i think but there's an effect called the ego effect and if we add an adjustment layer on top and we put this on you can see the previous and the, the upcoming uh, frames and this makes it real easy to animate you can like say i want five i want two um in front or behind and you see this gives you yeah some guides to animate uh better so um i think this is a nice trick um you can also like show them in front of the character um yeah i think uh if you do some animation this can become really helpful so uh, that's it thank you for watching um if you like this video uh, please give it a thumbs up um, and if you want to see more tutorials, uh, please subscribe or check our website. Um, I will put a link in the description. And yeah, that's it. Thank you. Bye.